Hey guys, Jeff here from Cheese Inch Tabletop. Um, this is day nine in the July painting challenge. Um, before I get started, I just want to say I've been going through and checking checking out a lot of, well, not a lot, uh, probably small amount compared to the amount of people doing the challenge, but quite a few of the people doing participating in this challenge have been going through and checking out your videos. And from what I have seen so far, everyone's doing great. And if that's anything to go by, then by the time I get around to your channel, if you ever haven't already, and I'm probably going to be impressed. Because, <laughs> yeah, everyone's doing a really great job. Um, now onto this, onto my progress. I've, do, I've got these three arches done today. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to get them done because I was a bit sort of... I was, I was sick yesterday. By the way, I'm like a thousand times better now. And didn't get really didn't get any work done. So it was really, really good to get three dudes completely done. Um, a couple of touch-ups I need to do, but, you know, it's nothing major. Um, and it's just, like, where I've made a little mistake and I haven't noticed until after I've finished painting. I spent a good couple of hours working on my stuff this morning. So, um, yeah, besides getting them finished, I based everyone else that I'd painted up. The other three arches. So that's all my arches ready for the, now, ready for... Um, the tabletop. My other 14 are up there, or 13 of them are. Um, they're up on my shelf, waiting to go back in my case, and except for this guy, because I found him out and he hadn't had his base done, so I did that today, which is cool. A bit of extra work done there. And something that wasn't part of the challenge, but now he is, so he gets his 15 seconds of fame. Um, the question. Yeah, it's favorite army, any game system, and all that good stuff. Um, favorite army would probably be Tomb Kings. It used to be the Empire, and they're still a close second. But rec just recently, I've sort of been looking into Tomb Kings models, and I really, really like their models. And I, what little bit of fluff I have read, which I don't read a lot of fluff, so that says something, um, is really cool. So. Yeah, I think I'll be getting a Tomb King's army at some stage. Probably after I've got at least 75% of my Empire army done. Because I've got a lot to paint on these guys. Which is why I decided to do them for my challenge. Yeah, let's get a bit more done. Um, I don't really have much experience in any other game system, unfortunately. Like, I I couldn't tell you the slightest about War Machine. Couldn't tell you what any of the armies are. Um, or anything like that. Um... 40k I've got a little bit of experience in, I've had, in my past I've had some 40k models and I really like the Imperial Guard models, they're cool. Um, Tower models are cool, um, but yeah, I, I don't, 40k is just not my cup of tea. Like, I like sci-fi stuff, but I, I find the game of fantasy more enjoyable for me personally, and I also, I love, I just love fantasy, like I read fantasy books, I play, like, obviously I collect fantasy miniatures. I play fantasy video games. Uh, I, I, I like it. I, I'm, I like medieval stuff as well, which probably helps fuel my like for fantasy because a lot of it's based in that sort of same like a similar sort of time time period, I guess you'd call it. Um, so yeah, my favorite army is probably Tomb Kings. Tomb Kings or Empire, they're both about the same. I also oh, I also want to say um, it was. War Tiger, I believe. Let's double check. Um, do, 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 do. Two seconds, gotta find. We're in the. Oh, here it is. Um, is this one? Don't start playing. Um, yeah, War Tiger. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, he asked me, um, what, what a cheese ninja is, um, <laughs> it's kind of just a silly name I came up with for video gaming, because I like the, I game a lot, and, um, I came up with it when I was, like, 15 or something, just, as sort of a silly name with a little bit of something behind it, like, I, um, I really, <laughs> um, I, I'm someone that plays games for fun. Whether it be tabletop or video game, I just I, I play it for fun, and um, 
I rarely take games seriously. Um, well, I take them serious enough. I take them seriously to a point, but I don't take them so seriously that if I lose, I get you know super angry and like start raging and stuff. Like, um, and really, sort of, it's the little meaning behind it is sort of those people that take games so seriously that they resort to sort of cheap mo cheap um, tactics or what I don't know in other countries, but here in Australia we. Um, We've, oh, well, so I have, I've grown up saying, like, you know, it's a cheesy move, or you, know, you see it a lot in, like, fighting games, because someone can keep doing the same move, like Street Fighter and stuff, and, um, it makes it really difficult for someone else, for the other person to win, like, they got to be really good, um, or, like, say, campers in FPS is, like, Battlefield and stuff, um, so it sort of comes from that, and the idea is that I, I single out sort of the the cheesy or cheap players I see, and I make note of their names, like, especially when I'm playing Battlefield, I see someone camping, I, uh, I make note of that player's name, and every time I see them, I make sure I kill them in a really annoying way, and sort of beat them at their own game, like, if they're camping, I'll just go in there and, like, shoot them with a grenade launcher or something stupid, like a smoke grenade, um, just to, I don't know, <laughs> that's just sort of a little, it's, that's, that's kind of the meaning behind it. It doesn't really have much of a meaning, though. It's just a silly name I came up with. And I've just stuck with it. So, yeah. Um, that w This is day nine, and I should be starting on my crossbowman tomorrow. I'm going to pull him out. I don't really... I think I broke one the other day. Like, he, fell, he fell down and I stepped on him. So, <laughs> I might make sure he's okay and glue him back together. But there's nine of them. I know in my first video I said there's 10, but there isn't. I've already painted one. Um, so I'm going to paint them up. And they're actually not in the same colour scheme. Because the thing I really like about Empire is, you know, the provinces help each other out. So it lets you sort of mix it up a bit within your own army. So I'm painting them, I think it's Talapheim. The red and white, but I use grey because I don't like the look of white. I think if you had a white uniform, it would probably get dirty real quick and turn grey. So that's why I just paint them grey. Um, just like I do with these guys. The Middenheim, I believe. I always get confused between Middenheim and Middenland. It's Middenheim, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's Middenheim. It's Middenland's the, the place, yeah. Um, so yeah, I want to get started on my crossbowman. I think I'm just going to aim to get five done. If I get more done, then that's good. I'm going to aim to get five done, and I'll do some base, base colors tomorrow. Um... They've already got their red done, which is good, so I'm just going to throw down, they definitely try and get their, at least their greys done tomorrow. And if I have enough time, then I'll throw a bit of, I'll start doing some browns and skin as well. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing then. I've been rambling on for a while now, so I probably should wrap this up. So yeah, um, this is day nine, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully I'll have some work done on my crossbowman. Yeah, catches. Well,